Okay, so today I'm looking at the auxiliary air pump and I'm trying to get it working again. I did contemplate just replacing the thing and having a functioning one so it didn't seize and break the belt and create a lot of problems since I'm in here doing the cooling system. But anyway, let's see what I got. Um, the, the pump attaches here, has a belt on the front, throw a pulley on the front and takes its drive off of the crankshaft. Out the back, there is a pipe there which I've sealed. That pipe runs behind the manifold and re-emerges up here. In fact, just there. I think it's that one. No, I'm sorry. It's this one. It's this one. God, they're so tight in there. It comes out the back of here, and then it goes around here, around here. It serves both banks with these little tubes that run down into the, uh, I guess that's the intake, and adds air. Although I thought it was the exhaust, but I don't understand that completely. But anyway, that's where it goes in. It's, it's, uh, it's over here. So here's the pipe work. This is a vacuum valve. The back of the pump goes into here, and that vacuum valve pushes either the air out of there and into that pipe that goes behind the manifold that I showed you, or pushes it out here. When the engine's hot, it pushes it out here. Now that is not a good idea, because that goes into the back of the air filter on the other side, on the engine side of the air filter. So you've got dirty air going through the pump into the engine. So I've sealed that off with a little grommet, and I've taken it out. And this car is an antique car, it won't be emissions tested, so that doesn't, it's not going to bother that. This vacuum is supplied by this pipe. It's a one-way pipe. I took that out. It runs sort of in there along the back. I'm going to get some light in there. I've sealed... It's here. I've sealed the vacuum pipe. There's a temperature valve there, so when the engine's hot, it switches that valve, that vacuum valve behind the pump and turns the air back into the manifold instead of injecting it. And that, that vacuum is supplied here off of the manifold there. So the vacuum goes around here, my hands are it tees off, goes down to that valve there, get that focused, and then drives down here, into here, and directs the air. So these are the parts. The pulley's fine. I, I took the back off. But inside, it's pretty dry. It was working, but it was very noisy. The pulley, or the, the, the shaft, is there. That, need, that needs to be oiled. Um, just gonna that needs to be odd. What I'm going to do, I'm not going to, I'm not going to replace this. I'm going to see if I can take the veins out, these. But if I can't, I'm just going to oil it all up and put it back on and have it run. Otherwise, I've got to put an idler in there and that feels like more work. But I didn't know what to expect when I took this off. Um, let me get a light on it. There it is. It's a GM part, apparently. There's billions of these out there. Um, that's what it looks like inside. I was glad that I took a look on the internet and someone else has taken one of these apart. Here's a completely seized. This one's not seized, but it's noisy and I don't trust it and I don't want it to go, having just put it back on. The new one's about 120. I could put that on, but if I if I can somehow get, get this apart, I might take the veins out and just let it spin. People have done that, apparently. All right. Well, I'll take a few more videos as I go. If you don't put some kind of axle in there, like this, which sits there, then when you turn it, it's, it's tough to turn because the veins don't behave properly. And you can see that inside bit shifting around. So what I've done, I'm doing, I sprayed a lot of WD-40 on it. That plate there, that plate there, makes very close contact to the drum. And that was totally dry. I guess this is 30 years old, so I put a lot there. 
I've got this tilted back slightly of the vise so it doesn't all pour out. I'm putting that in there and then I'm turning it. And I've already just, oh shoot, there, I guess the pump works. <laughs> and I'm already freeing it up. What I'm going to do is just do a whole bunch more of this. And then I've got um, silicon grease. I use it in a, a syringe, a very fine attachment. I'm going to put a lot of that in there. I'm just going to look around and see what else needs greasing up in there. Put it back together. Grease, grease that bit up, put it back together, and put it back on. Also over here. I've got the adjuster bolt. I'm just putting it in some acetone to clean it up. I'll probably clean up around there a little bit because I don't like to use 30 years of crud. I don't particularly like to... Uh, I can't get a focus there. There we go. I don't particularly like to leave all the crud in there. So I'll do that and uh, see how we go. So a lot of grease or, or WD-40. Uh, you can hear it. a lot better than it was, but it's not as good as it needs to be, in my opinion. I do not want this thing to seize up. So I'm just going to do some more greasing. I might just get my big bottle of grease and stuff it in there. Um, we'll see, and I might try and take the veins out, as I said. Okay, so I tried using this, putting it in these holes, and turning to remove that ring so I could pull the veins out. But I can't hold the other end, and I don't want to put it in the vise tried to hold it in the vise but then I could damage the pulley and then it'll be wobbly and then that'll just be bad so I'm still trying so I've only greased it up with that stuff I'm just going to clean up the surfaces put that back on the top see how it moves and then if it moves okay I'm going to seal it up and the surfaces I mean these this is well it's a gasket but blimey it's just air and uh, I'm not going to ask anything of this pump in terms of pumping so I'll do that and then um, see how we go. So there it is. I haven't bolted it up yet, but listen. So much better than it was. The pump actually still works. I mean, it's such a basic thing when you look at what it is. Keep it greased and it'll just keep pumping. So that few pounds of metal is going back in the car to pump air to nothing. But it's needed because of the... Um, it needs to be an idle pulley, effectively.